So hello, my name's Carrie. If you haven't seen my videos, is that's Carrie's Real World, and I uh, thought that I would do a uh, mother and baby gift guide for Christmas. I'm doing it like this because whenever I sit down and do a vlog, they never come up very well. So hopefully, if I do it like this, hopefully you'll actually be able to see the items. I'm doing it in my kitchen because this seems to be the best place where I get light at the moment. But I am going to sort that out so I can sort of sit down and do properly sit down and show the items um, until I can get a camera stand and proper um uh a proper setup and I'm gonna do it like this so you can actually see the items. So when it comes to uh buying gifts for children um what I would say is um if um it's a friend and they're expecting the baby um that is due at Christmas then you can still buy the um that one a gift um and go by age or and what I would say is also buy something that uh they will get a long usage out of it because it's it's lovely to buy some baby grows for newborn and um uh, mittens and that sort of thing. But remember that children grow very quickly so by the time they get to a month fold, they can actually go out of those items so onwards and that will never go out of fashion and never phase out. So I've gone for a collection of things that we've recently bought Henry and things that other people bought Henry just to give you um go through different items that um give you ideas of what you can buy for for a child uh, if it's for your own or niece nephew uh friend uh baby then hopefully this will help you to um get an idea of what kind of toys or what gift that you like to buy for them for christmas so um to start us out um every year i always like to buy henry my son um something to wear for christmas and he's had a number of outfits that um he's won but this year we bought him this um which we've got bought in next um and it's a lovely little jumper it was only 14 pounds and they seem to have such a great selection in there they also has a nice jumper on avon as well which i'll link below um along with um a link to next um and i'll see hopefully they still have it on there um and it's a lovely lovely little it's a snowman with sunglasses on coat and nose and little baseball cap and scarf and i just thought that was really sweet and i was just saw it caught on i said oh can we get him that um because originally i was going to do something in an elf uh, outfit but i think that was much it was so lovely that, that it just caught my eye and i got it for Oh, sorry, let's go to have one. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and, I mean, that's for the next year, two, three years, from three years. But the good thing is that he will get to you two wears out of that this year and next year because it's okay buying. Um, I mean, I like to buy him a different one for every year. But, you know, it's also good for him to get good use out of it. Because with the Christmas outfits we have had, we've even used the pyjamas and he's had good, luck like, usage out of them. So we haven't just used them for one, once, uh, but throughout. And this is for uh, three years. But, again, that will last him for quite a while. Um, and, you know, even after Christmas, winter time, that will still suit him and he'll still wear it and keep him nice and warm. So that's that, um, and so that's that jumper. Let me put that in that actually needs washing because it's stained on it. Um, anyway, so and then we got him because we were looking for some gloves and we were looking, hey, should we looked in um, uh, H&M Children's uh, store, but they didn't seem to have any. We were looking in TK Maxx. Uh, we looked in Primark, I even looked in Primark, 
and I couldn't find any um, gloves for him. We don't have a mother kid near us, um, and they uh, I couldn't remember if there was one in Kingston when I went there. So um, I looked in Primark, and then I looked in Boots, uh, and clothes that we found, and was and they, they had some accessories, right? but they were more for they were a little bit girly. Uh, which, you know, I mean, if it, they were in, like, pink colours, it wouldn't bother me, but they looked a bit too girly-girly, and, you know, some people, that, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't matter, but, you know, it's, um, and also they're from an older age, so, um, they wouldn't have been suitable. So, we looked in next, and I thought they might, they may have some, and they did, they have these mittens, and, and they're for two to six years, so perfect, that will last him, to his six years old, which is brilliant. Um, so great. And uh, they were four pounds and quite a few pairs, so he should get a good use of that, out of those. So that's you know, and a good idea for a stocking filler, you know, if you want to get buy a set and give them to each give one to each child, you know, if you've got um grandchildren of a similar age, um uh, or nieces, nephews. That's a great little gift you can buy uh, for next. And they do have some lovely clothes in next. Um, that um, you know, I wouldn't mind having a little look. And then we got these socks from TK Maxx, which were lovely because we were looking for gloves. They do have a lot. I mean, I did buy when Henry um, was due. Um, well, we're getting near to when we I was due because I didn't want to buy too many clothes just yet. Um, I did the TK Maxx and I sort of build up sort of um clothes uh, gradually, but I didn't buy too much. And they do have a great range of children's clothes in there, and uh, they are these sort of socks because he does. I mean, he doesn't wear socks, and he does. They do seem to go missing, like uh, my socks. I think there must be a sock. Um, uh, a, a, a phantom stock, a sock stealer, or some sort of, because they seem to disintegrate and disappear. So we've got these socks, and again, you know, you can buy one, they have all different ones, like fun ones, and, um, like he's got a pair on, which we bought him last year, which is, oh, I love daddy, and that's a good thing about socks, like they do last with these ones. Uh, I love Daddy and I love Mummy. We, we bought, I bought them in um, H and I think they were H and M last year, um, and they do a good range of socks. And so um, we don't buy we buy like a pack once a year, and you know that will last him for again quite a while. And again that you can put in the stocking filler um, if you've got young children. So and they were um, four ninety nine. So they're lovely little. Um, things that you could give as gifts. Um, now, um, Henry has started Monkey Music, which is a great class uh, to do. And if you are looking for something new for them to go to, or, or you're a new mum and you're a bit like I oh, was, well, a bit weary about going to mother toddler classes because or groups because it fits in anything isolated. Then Monkey Music is a great, um, great group to join because um, it encourages everybody to join and get to know each other. And you know, I have built a good relationship with the other mums. I mean, we even a couple of us went for coffee, um, the last class of this term because we won't see each other again until next year. And it's just a great little class. It's just teaching about music, about sounds. And uh, Henry absolutely loves it. Um, that I really want to get him to do sort of another sort of similar class. Um, do something similar with swimming. I'm like him to do swimming. Um, and also there's another club called Wally Polies. Um, so you know they're great things to do. And they, and, um, and I bought him these musical instruments. These were from Argos. They were it was uh, five, uh, four ninety nine, and inside you get a little trumpet. Um, it's for children from five to 
from the three years plus. So in the three years, um, it is still, you know, needs two. Uh, I mean, I would always say is check them first. Uh, but you can buy toys for, if it's a three years, I mean, Henry's the age now where he can use these things. Obviously, with that, make sure you supervise, but I mean, just be careful that with values because he, they could trap their finger. But, um, I mean, that again, that will last him. I mean, he, I mean, he hasn't really played with these now. He likes the maracas that are inside. So you get a trumpet. Um, um, what's that called? I think they're called maracas, isn't they? Maracas. Um, and then you get these. And he loves those. He knows how to use that. And you get two of those inside. Uh, and then I think we've gone missing. Um, a tambourine. Um, some symbols. And a dr uh, drum, and then two drumsticks inside, and that's really good. If no one the drumsticks has gone missing, and what I would say, just be aware of them drumsticks, they can wave them around. So, I mean, that he hasn't really played with yet, but again, that'll last him. He, you know, when he gets a bit older, wear um, more wear. I mean, that should do play for a couple of years. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you know that they've, if, if you're born for a child and you know they've always got play, uh, toys close to the age, then buy it for the next year up. So they, you know, then they've got something to play for when they reach the next stage. And then there's this. Now, well, I bought this uh, for his birthday um, last year in Argos. It was for... It was, I think it was $9.99, but it's a lovely, and at first he didn't really pay, he played for a little bit, but not really, but now he loves it, uh, and that's, when they're getting a, a, a bigger, you want to help them to be, um, to stimulate them, and, um, and this is a great sort of toy, because it gets them to interact, and it makes a noise, it's like that, and... It, it sings and you get the numbers um, it's a colours and then so he's got little things in that if you press that it sings songs that's great so that's a good little toy and great thing for them to interact, they love pressing buttons. So that is a great toy and that's still available. I looked in August and it still is and there are similar ones that you can get as well. Um, that are the same sort of thing. So that's a, a good toy to buy. And also my friend but my lovely friend that I've known, that I grew up with, that I've known for years. And her son, her little boy was born a month after Henry. It was really funny because we were both, I was due on the 9th of January and she was born and she was due on the 9th of December. And even though Henry came early, they still managed to be born one, one month apart, but the other way around. So, and um, it's really, really funny because they actually, like Henry... Looks like me when I was, yeah, um, that as AD is now two, uh, or two, but as he's going, he's, you know, looked like me as a, a younger version of me, what I looked like when I was his age, and her little boy looks like her when she was that age. <laughs> so it's really funny. So the mum's going to say, it's like, you know, us all over, us two all over again. Um, and she bought this really lovely book for his birthday, but again, you can buy it for, you know, I don't know where she would have bought it from, obviously the gift, but it's a, lovely, a nice little book. It's great for children. They love books, and it's good to read to them. Um, I would always say, I mean, uh, technology is great, and it's good to introduce them to technology, but I do think, as a child, that... 
you still, uh, still, I think there is a certain age in which you should introduce, introduce children to technology. Um, because I think sometimes, I think that technology can make children grow up quickly. And much as, yes, they can read books off of a Kindle, there's nothing more brilliant or interactive than a proper book. And I would always encourage to buy a, a, a proper book, you know. Um, and I would st uh, still buy books now, because, especially for children. Uh, because of the pictures and everything, so I mean, audio books are brilliant. We bought Henry some audio books, uh, which are really great. But it's also good to read as but read to them as well. Uh, and you know, um, we read to them whilst doing your tummy as well, because they do hear you. You know, and it's just a good way to start getting their using their senses and hearing sounds. And that Henry loves it when I read him now. We often, like when if I'm being clean in his bedroom, then so he doesn't get bored, I will read to him or put his music on. Um, because they, they do want to be stimulated a lot and, and what they want you to interact. So a lovely little book and it's called God Made Me This Way. And it's a lovely little story. Um... I have the trunkiest trunk you ever seen. And this is a lovely little book. And it's perfect to share. Um, join animals as they describe what makes each other of them unique. And I suppose it's a good way of teaching children to accept themselves, especially now because... I do think there is a lot of peer pressure and a lot of body, you know, um, as they get older, body they do get body conscious, as we all did. And then I've got Henry this toy. Um, it's got a bit damaged. Which I'm not, this is bought from Argos. So I'm not impressed with that, that it came damaged, but never mind. And basically, there were different ones, and this is, um, and basically, they talk, the little dog talks to you. Um, I'm not going to play it now, but it's really sweet, and I thought I could, do, because we're going to Lincoln. Uh, that's something that we I could easily um, wrap up and take with us, and so it won't be too bulky or difficult to carry. So, and I thought that I could do that, and that could be something that could entertain him on the uh, train, along with a book. So there's that, and then there's some, and again, you know, there's something that um, will last a long time that we interact with. I mean, Henry loves. The little toy I've got here, which I bought uh, for Christmas, is that, and it sings. I've sh I have shown it, and it sings a little song. I mean, how gorgeous is that? I love that little toy. And it is so, and he loves that, and he loves that little toy that is coming over. He just loves that, and he gives it a kiss, so that's why it's good to get him buy them a toy that they can interact with and that's why I bought him that because I want him to interact and start you know he's starting to learn certain word uh, certain words and pick up certain sounds um, so that's a good little uh, gift to buy that was I'll find the part so I will put the price up on the screen for that. Um, and then this. I've not known one child that hasn't had this. Uh, and this is something that um, that lasts a, lo a long, long time. And Henry has played with this from 
I would say from about four months plus, my friend bought it for him uh, when she first came to visit and saw it uh, cuddled Henry and and it's a brilliant, brilliant toy um, and my niece have had this, her little boy had one of these I've not known a child that does not have one of these because they're really good again they're a very, in very interactive toy and that's what you want because it's got sound it talks, it flashes up lights um, that changes pictures I mean there's probably mums watching this now so now oh yes my my little boy had that or my niece had that or nephew and it's just a great little toy and it sings um, and it also says right I'll try the shapes and the numbers so it's a great little toy um, and and again, I'll see where they're currently available and the price. Probably go with Argos, but obviously, uh, I would say shop around because you might be able to get it somewhere else at a different price. And then these, my um, uh, stepsister, stepsister bought these for Henry last year for his birthday. She bought him a set of bricks and these, and he absolutely loves these cups. And we're playing with them today. Again, it's something that's really good and interactive because he loves the fact that he, anything that rolls, he loves. And he loves these cups. He's played with them ever since he got them. Because what I do, uh, the wrong way to it is, um, say you don't overwhelm them, is to introduce a toy at one toy at a time. Because there's still like um, toys that I still haven't bought out yet for me birthday last year. Because um, the thing is, and that's the thing, I would say when it comes to gifts, don't buy too many toys because they won't play with everything yet, and they won't, they they won't. Um, what's the word? Um, they won't take it all in. So it's good to reduce a toy at a time so they actually play with it and they get, and so you're not putting too much in front of them but they play with it and they and it's so they can appreciate each toy so what I do every now and again I bring a new toy out and for him to play with and and um, you know so it helps also keep them interested so that's another um, tip so that's it. Um, I hope you find that helpful um, in terms of what gifts to buy for um, your little one, and what a little one, or um, and also you know like over there we have we zoom in Lego, and what we do. I mean he hasn't played with that yet, but what we've done because he does look at it. Uh, we every me and my husband, <laughs> or we've done it every day, every uh, like every other day. We will take it apart and rebuild something else. So uh, that's one tip. It doesn't pay me yet. Just use it to give him something to look at uh, for, for now. And then I mean, he see me play with it with the Lego, so he does sort of pick it up and and try to build himself. But he's more into throwing it and chucking it at the moment. So um, and then there's these little little balls. Um, you can get these from Mario stores. Well, I think where you can buy them, um, if that, that is your shop, so look, um, I mean, my mum bought them him these, and they're great, you can put them in a little, if you've got a paddling pool, and rather than it going dust, why not get it out in the living room, put these in there, and I'm even thinking about doing that, doing that, um, in a few days, because he loves his balls, and it just, and you can get to use his paddling pool and um and it's great way for him to, you know, um sit in there and have some fun and you know, just just do something new. Well and um they're really great things for him to play. I mean you can take them outside when it is weather and again that last I mean they can play for them indoors, outdoors. So, you know, great. Um I mean they 
If children don't want anything complicated, something that's easy that they can pick up, and they, like Henry loves a ball, and these are perfect because he always plays with these, and he even knows where, he, where they're kept, <laughs> and he gets them out the drawer. My husband's been ages putting these away, and then he's gotten one out again, but um, yes, <laughs> he knows exactly where his toys are. So, but yeah, um, but when it comes to gifts, you know, anything that's simple that they can you know roll or that sings a tune that talks are a great gift to buy for children because they just want something that will interact um so you know i mean if you know somebody's got loads of clothes and i like a toy that sings a song a little train or some sort um uh, he's even got one of them he like he's got another little sort of phone toy which he loves as well as that one um which sings a tune um because he loves as soon as he sees somebody with, on a phone he goes up and sort of um wants to, to sort of join in he just loves the phones and remote control so it's good to have one of these drawn them away from wanting to get hold of the remote controls because they will um <laughs> anything with buttons they love so you know they're great toys to uh, buy for, buy for them. So anyway, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found this useful and thumbs up if you did. And if you'd like to see more of these video videos, then please comment below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, remember to subscribe too. Um, and thank you for those who already subscribed to my channel and for those who have made for me love the comments about my videos. I'm glad you enjoy them and see you again soon. Merry Christmas everybody. Hope you all have a good one. Um, and uh, coming up to my last videos that I'll be posting on my blog website which is going to be changing. So you know this is another warning that, that my blog my current blog page will be closing and a new uh, website what is in creation ready for the new year so see you again soon and take care bye bye